Welcome back and welcome to another book talk. I had to film this book talk because I literally just finished reading this book and um, I couldn't not talk about it. So I thought what better things to do than to uh, get on camera and talk about it with all of you. Um, so the book that I am going to talk to you about today is A Song for Tomorrow by Alice Peterson. I know you've been waiting for this book talk because I've talked about this book a lot in the past couple of months. Um, this book came out in February and um, it was sent to me by Simon & Schuster for review. But I actually ended up downloading the audiobook to listen to just because this is quite a long one and um, I was reading a couple of other things on Kindle at the time so I decided I would go for this one on audiobook. So let me read you the blurb first of all so you know what you're getting yourselves into. Tom fell in love with Alice the moment he saw her. He realises that being with her will not be easy, but she is a force of nature, a burst of sunlight in his otherwise ordinary world. Some people might look at Alice and think she has everything, but Alice knows she is not like other women. Her life is complicated, unpredictable, difficult. Alice does not like pity. All she wants to do, has ever wanted to do, is sing. Alice has been told not to follow her dreams. So has Tom. But when fate has already dealt a tough hand, it's time to stop listening to everyone else and only follow their hearts. Um, you can tell that this is going to be a bit of um, a tough read in some senses, but not in others. Alice Peterson is um, one of the best authors for taking books about difficult subjects and just making them so that you can't not fall in love with them, you can't put them down and you leave her books feeling so sort of uplifted, enlightened and just with a new zest for life, um, even if it might only last for the few days after you finish the book. But this is no exception. All of her other books feature some character with some sort of um, issue that they're facing that should hold them back in life but doesn't hold them back in life. So obviously our main character Alice has um, some obstacles to overcome but at no point does she let these obstacles hold her back. She is determined to be a singer. She has been told no, no, no all of her life and she is absolutely determined to do it. She leaves other careers behind um, and one of the things that really helps her with her journey is her family and this was one of the things that I loved about this book <coughs> was how close Alice was with her family. The audiobook and the book, sorry, is actually told from three different perspectives. You get some of it from Tom's perspective, some of it from Alice's perspective and then you get some parts which are from her mum's diary. Um, and those parts are really interesting because we see her family taking action and then we get to hear what her mum's take on it all is, which makes it really interesting and makes you feel as you're reading it like you are part of that family. Alice also has a support group of friends who are like a second family to her and she is as much of a support to them as they are to her. And so this, this book really is about those relationships, building those familial relationships, friendship relationships and romantic relationships. And I just got hooked into all of those aspects right from the moment I started listening to this book. I just couldn't, I couldn't put it down so to speak. Um, I tried really hard to finish this one before I went to sleep last night but it got to about 3am and I was falling asleep listening to it and I wanted to make sure that I listened to the last hour um, and gave it my full attention. Obviously uh, this book also features Tom who you know falls in love with Alice from the moment that he meets her. I loved Tom as well. He's also as it says in the blurb had obstacles to overcome um, and I really really did enjoy getting to know him but I th this book was all about Alice and her relationships for me and I just loved that. Um, a lot of people will be sort of cautious of Alice Peterson's novels because they deal with big issues. They deal with illness and death and heartbreak and 
things that hit you in life that are really hard to overcome all of her books deal with that kind of thing but anybody who is thinking oh I can't do that I can't read a book that's going to make me cry you really will you see what I mean about her books being so uplifting and her dealing with these topics in such amazing ways. She has such a way with writing, I have no idea how she does it, I'm incredibly jealous, of writing these books that deal with these subjects but yet you kind of the, the the toughness and the things that the characters have to deal with are almost secondary to these characters that she creates and these relationships and these wonderful heartwarming reads. So, A Song for Tomorrow, I've tried really hard not to give any spoilers, it's quite difficult. Um, this has got incredible endorsements, I'm sure you've heard so many people on Twitter and Facebook talking about this one. It's an amazing read, I feel really kind of zen now I've finished it. Um, it was incredibly compelling read as well and if you haven't read any Alice Peterson novels this would be a great place to start but any of her novels would be amazing to read. I think I've ended up listening to them all on audiobook and they're all narrated really well as well. So Alice Peterson, A Song for Tomorrow, definite massive recommendation from me and if you are worried about um, any of the issues making you feel down or making you cry then and obviously have a little read of a sample of one and just check it out because I am sure that you'll find yourself thinking the absolute opposite when you've actually finished reading it. So um, that's all I have for you today. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe if you want to hear more book talks from me. There are more coming up. Okay, hope you're having a great day. Bye.